Hey guys, welcome to Delusional's Arcade. We're here at Zapcon in Mesa, Arizona, and we have a Zapcon machine that was custom made by Paul, aka Yotsuya, at the BYOAC forums. And uh, he's gonna come and talk about it, and uh, so let's get started. I mean, let's jump right in it. It's a great machine, software and hardware all done by him and his team. So let's hear and see what he has to say. All right, um, this is my latest project. I wasn't gonna do anything for Zapcon, and then I had a brainstorm one day back in November. Hey, I was tinkering with the software that I used to create custom games, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a Zapcon game. And so I went ahead and I threw some ideas out. I asked some of the guys on the forum whose opinions I value and trust that, hey, what do you guys think? They said, you know what, go for it. So we came up with some game styles, some different kinds of gameplay, and we went ahead and made a cabinet. The artwork is all custom. I did it all myself. Um, the gameplay itself has got different levels, and each level is different. It's like Tron. There's four different levels, four different ways to get your game to Zapcon. This is the shoot 'em up level. It's inspired by 1942. You go through, you shoot, you avoid airplanes, you don't want to get damaged. I'm going to go ahead and crash out just so we can get to the next level. Whenever you die, you go back to the uh, selection screen where you can go ahead and choose again. If you beat a level, you notice the one down at the bottom was missing. If you beat a level, you complete it. And so you don't have to worry about it again. Once you beat all four levels, you then get to a secret bonus level five, which is a pinball level, because obviously all your games are at Zapcon already. This one was kind of a takeoff on Spy Hunter. And I have to admit, it's actually based on something that really happened last year to me and LeChuck when we were taking a trailer back home to my sister's house. Um, you want to avoid getting rear-ended. You can leave that, you can imagine the, why that's the, the uh, objective of this level. I'm not going to get into it too much. But basically, you beat the level, and you beat all four levels, you advance on. Um, the side art, you want to take a look at it. Again, I like, I like kit games. Full side side art is cool, but I like the whole concept of a game that's an op has, it's based on a kit. And it basically takes elements of the actual games, the Arizona flag, the skyline of the city of Phoenix, and the Zapcon logo. The Zapcon people were excellent. They allowed me to use their assets. They even sent me high resolution versions of the logo. My good friend John, who everybody at BYOAC met this weekend, printed this marquee on this excellent Translite material. Um, I got a real Atari switch in there. It's running a PC and a computer CRT because I wanted something to look like a real game. And you know, that's it. And I'm real excited and happy to say that it was selected by the fans here at Zapcon as the fan favorite. So three years running. I, that, I look at that as a victory for BYOAC and everything that we do more than anything else. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that episode of uh, Delusional's Arcade over here at Zapcom with the actual Zapcom machine. And we have a special guest who's kind of doing a cameo, Taco Town Charlie. So with that, please subscribe, hit a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, see you next time. Take care.